And our next author is Neve McMillan. Neve was in the seventh grade at Westminster Christian Academy in town and country, Missouri, when she wrote her story, A Purple Mess. What my dad thought was going to be the best day ever turned into the worst day ever. My dad was in first grade, and a day soon to come was making him feel energized and excited. My dad was a Cub Scout. He was at a den meeting where the leader announced that the boys would be having a project that would be displayed to all of the parents and to the other scouts. The display would be at the school, and the other boys would be given, would, be, um, would have a dinner to attend before the awards were given out. The boys, would, the boys would all be making wooden rockets, and they all got a plain block of wood to carve and to paint. My grandpa was, was out of town, and he couldn't help my dad, so my dad decided to make the rocket himself. He got out the wood, the paint, the paintbrush, and headed down to the musty garage. He didn't know how to carve wood, so he decided to skip that step. He, decided to, he started to paint the blue at the top, white in the middle, and red at the bottom. He was going for the patriotic look to win the USA Award. After he glued the shiny capital letters USA onto the rocket, he was satisfied with himself and got up. As he was getting up, he knocked over the paint and splattered everywhere. His rocket, which had been red, white, and blue, was now a messy, wet, purple piece of soggy wood. He called his mom down to help him clean up his project, but it was no use. The next day was the big award show. My dad tried to convince his mom not to go, but she said everything was going to be fine. My dad sure hoped so. When he got to school, there were rows and rows of table with nicely painted and well-carved rockets displayed on them. My dad quickly put his purple mess on the table and walked away before anyone else knew it was his. After the dinner, everyone came around and the leader announced the winners. And at last, but not least, the award for do-it-yourself goes to Tracy McMillan. My dad was shocked, but he did deserve the award, considering all the other boys' dads had done the work themselves. My Nana gave my dad a look that said, I told you so. My dad proudly walked up to the man and got his award, and my Nana was very happy for him. Through this experience, my dad learned to never give up and to always be confident, because you never know what will happen. I hope this story can teach you the things that it taught my dad and I. And I believe that... Um that uh, Mr. Uh, McMillan is, is in the audience. And anyone who wants to see his purple mess, well, it's probably on your cell phone, right? A picture? Yeah. <laughs> 